What is going on guys? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and today we are going to be taking apart and weighing the Pro Ox canister shells. Okay, so I just lit these off the other day and I really liked them. They were super loud for their size, but they are not quite as big as your average canister shell. So you can see diameter inch and a half. So right away it's going to be smaller diameter since most canister shells come in about right here at 175. Now let's take a look at the length too. So you can see they are still 4 inches in length, which is good because they are actually the same size as like an Excalibur shell or something. They just have a smaller diameter. So I'm curious if that is even going to make a difference because these are definitely louder than Excalibur shells. Um, so let's just go ahead and weigh them real quick. And of course we're going to take all the powder out. So they're coming in at 104. X cals they usually come in around 120, 132-ish, right around there. But most of that is actually clay weight and cardboard. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors behind that. Um, so this one was 103. And this one is 104. So this one's heavier by like a gram. And this is red and white strobe. And this one is purple wave yellow wave with crackling star so i think i'm going to take apart this one the one that's got purple and yellow just because it was a tad heavier so let's see or was it was this the one that was 104 yep all right so let's take this apart and yeah it has been a long time since i've done a what's inside video but I'm gonna try to start doing these a little more often. There's a lot of fireworks I've got sitting around that I'd like to weigh. Uh, so first we need to weigh the cup. And then we're gonna zero it. Okay, let's get the lift charge in there. So lift is coming in at five. Um, and the fuse actually counts as weight towards the full 60 grams, we're gonna to try to put that in there. Now, that stuff there, I believe that also counts. Um, that's sort of a primer to hit the fuse that goes into the shell itself. I'm talking really slow, guys, I'm sorry about this. Uh, so let's go ahead and cut into the middle of this and uh, see if we hit clay or powder. And it looks like we are getting nothing but powder here since it's pretty soft in the middle. I know this is gonna be kind of a long, boring video, but some of you guys do really like the what's inside, um, so you get a better perspective as to how fireworks actually work. And I like it too. It's always cool to see what these companies are putting in their fireworks. So I think we've got that good enough to split open into the cup. So we're just gonna dump it all in there, and you can see the grams are going up. Now Excalibur's a good one, like a good solid Excalibur shell comes in about 40 to 42 grams. So this is coming in at 29. Oh, there's still some stuff in there. We're gonna have to try to fish that out. Okay, come on. Because those are rice hulls, but they're coated. So that does add to the weight. Oh boy, there's quite a few of them in there. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, that should be good. So these little guys, which are a quarter of an inch smaller in diameter, actually come in at 30 grams, which is pretty freaking impressive. Now, there is one specific effect in the kit. I can't remember what it was called, but it was the one that had those brocade tails up to color tips. I'll put a clip of it right here. Um, I have a feeling if I weighed that one, it'd be about 45 to 50 grams, just because of how that one broke and how the stars and comp looked all together in the air. But, you know what, all in all, these are solid canister shells. They are coming in at 30 grams, and they are a quarter of an inch smaller. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, we are, of course, going to go shoot this off. We're going to use the Cobra for that. Um, and I actually wanted to show you guys, before I end this video, this long, boring video, probably. Let me know in the comments if you think this is boring. Um, and I'll do these less often. So I'm going to pull a fuse out of here. Now there's some people that say you should not do this with canister shells um, because the Cobra and the MJG wire, they are mainly for cakes and stuff like that. Unless we're doing professional stuff, don't get me wrong. If we're doing a pro show, then you can definitely use these on shells. 
they actually have little ports on the fuse. But in consumer canister shells, you're not really supposed to use this. But we're going to do it anyway, because we like to do things that people tell us not to do. All right, so I'm just going to shove that all the way in there, make a nice hole, and then put this in just like that. Now I'm hoping what will happen is this will not stay intact. Very nice. It worked perfect. So we just fired off the canister shell with the Cobra, and I know how bad you guys are itching to see that little cup full of powder. So let's light it up and see what happens. I did not know it was going to do that. It's basically a mine shell. All right, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed.